Abigail filmed two different versions of the movie to nail one important aspect. Abigail directors Matt Bettinelli Olpin and Tyler Gillette reveal they shot two different versions of the movie in order to ensure they nailed an important element. The vampire horror comedy debuted in theaters across the United States on April 19 and focuses on a group of criminals who capture the ballerina daughter of a powerful underworld figure, unaware of her true nature. Abigail has received positive critical reviews, and its strong cast, unique story, and unabashed gore are sure to make it a long-term box office success for Universal. Starring Scream 6 actor Melissa Barrera, Abigail is being praised for its fun take on the vampire genre, as well as its ability to combine humor and horror effortlessly. Speaking in an interview with Collider, Bettinelli Olpin and Gillette revealed that they filmed two different versions of Abigail, one with a greater focus on horror, and one with more comedic elements, and then blended the two. As Gillette explains, while Abigail is not reinventing the wheel for either genre, it certainly stands out among the many sequels and remakes that often flood movie theaters. The vampire genre has seen plenty of ups and downs over the years, and the early results for Bettinelli Olpin and Gillette's movie suggest a promising future. Abigail's blend of comedy and horror has helped it stand out and resonate with audiences. The brutal deaths in Abigail can appeal to horror enthusiasts, while the more comedic elements contribute to a broader and more widespread audience. Its desire to offer something for both horror and comedy fans is something the genre has been lacking in recent times. Many vampire movies wind up focusing solely on blood and gore, or go too much in the other direction and wind up being cheesy and over the top, while Abigail hits the right notes on both sides. Another factor that has made it stand out is Abigail's blood-soaked ending, which contains more than a few twists and turns, as well as unexpected incidents. The build-up to the ending is done in a clever and interesting way, and this is likely one of the reasons why it has an 88% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, indicating viewers are walking away satisfied. Despite a smaller box office opening than expected, there is hope that Abigail can revamp and revitalize the vampire genre. A successful run in theaters could lead to a sequel in the future. While Abigail is not reinventing the wheel for either genre, it certainly stands out among the many sequels and remakes that often flood movie theaters. The vampire genre has seen plenty of ups and downs over the years, and the early results for Bettinelli Olpin and Gillette's movie suggest a promising future. They are directors who understand what makes horror work, as well as how pop culture references can provide a key dose of levity to heavy or serious plot points, and Abigail uses that formula well.